Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sayyid Harim Zahra and my role number is BP125024 and my topic is methylene blue. Introduction. Methylene blue also known as methyl thionium chloride. It's a medication and a dye. Methylene blue indicates the presence or absence of oxygen. Oxygen is necessary for many forms of life on earth so any compound that can help detect its presence is bound to be useful. Methylene blue oxygen indicator. Water containing the methylene blue indicator is blue when oxygen is present. As a medication, it is mainly used to treat methemoglobinemia. Specifically, it is used to treat methemoglobin levels that are greater than 30% or in which, or in which they, there are symptoms despite oxygen therapy. It has previously been used for cyanide poisoning and urinary tract infections, but this use is no longer recommended. It is typically given by injections into a van. Main indication Methylene blue injection is a form of hemoglobin, a substance in blood used to treat methemoglobinemia. Methylene blue oral is used to treat methemoglobinemia and urinary tract infections. Other clinical applications of methylene blue include improvement of hypertension associated with various clinical states and antiseptic in urinary tract infections, treatment of hypoxia and hyperdynamic circulation in cirrhosis of the liver, and severe hepatopulmonary syndrome, and treatment of ephophilia. If of course, semite are induced neurotoxicity. Side effects pain in your arms or legs, blue or green urine, altered sense of taste, headache and dizziness, sweating, skin discoloration, nausea, or feeling hot. Dose ad adjustment in different diseases. There are several uh, diseases. Septic shock, uh, in septic shock, adult dose is 2 mg per kg and pediatric dose is 5 mg per ml. Viral disease 2 mg per kg adult dose and periodic dose is 5, ml per, 5 mg per ml. Now drug interactions. Methylene blue is an inhibitor and therefore cause interact selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor to cause serious serotonin toxicity. It also interact with dapson and form hydroxylamin which oxidizes hemoglobin causing hemolysis. Methylene blue interactions with metformin. Methylene blue will increase the level or effect of metformin by unspecified interaction mechanism. Avoid or use alternative drugs. Methylene blue interaction with codeine. Methylene blue and codeine both increase the serotonin levels. Drug toxicity with mechanism. Excessive dose of methylene blue greater than 7 mg per kg can actually cause methemoglobinemia by directly oxidizing hemoglobin. Doses higher than 15 mg per kg are associated with hemolysis, particularly in neonates, may also in serotonin secretions and mucus membranes and interfere with clinical findings of cyanosis. Alternatives of methylene blue gentan, gentan violet and events blue, irrational use of the drug, there is no rational use of the methylene blue on record, it is only used as a dye in diagnostic purpose and as a medicine in clinical practice. Case study. Two patients are married couple presented with methemoglobinemia, the 72 years old the, uh, Taiwanese man and 60 years old the, uh, Taiwanese woman um, were referred to our hospital with dizziness and tachypnea. Uh, on examination, their mucous membrane were cyanotic and their blood sample showed the classic chocolate brown appearance. The man also reported having the experience twitching of his right arm for a few minutes before arrival at the hospital. The symptoms of both patients failed to improve in response to supplemental oxygen Oxygen is delivered via oxygen mask. Although the arterial blood gas data of these patients were normal and their pulse oximetry showed oxyhemoglobin levels of approximately 85%, a carbon monoxide oximeter showed that the man's Methemoglobin concentration was 48.3% and the woman's was 36.4%. Subjective Gender male and female a couple, age 72 years and 68 years, history dizziness and tachypnea, twitching of his right arm for a few minutes, laboratory test, mucous membrane was cyanotic, blood sample showed the classic chocolate brown appearance, arterial blood gaze and data of all these patients were normal and their pulmonary. Pulse oximetry showed oxyhemoglobin levels of approximately 85%. A carbon monoxide oximeter showed that the man's methemoglobin concentration was 48.3% and the woman was 36.4%. Objective Patient was unresponsive to oxygen therapy and their analytical case data showed 
uh, that it is a case of acquired methemoglobinemia. Acquired methemoglobinemia can result from exposure to a wide range of drugs and chemicals inducing nitrites and other oxidant, oxidant signs and symptoms of methemoglobinemia which may correlate with major methemoglobin level include headache, tachypnea, uh, cyanosis and change in mental status, arterial blood gaze and pulse. Uh, oximeter measurement offer limit uh, diagnostic help and may be misleading. We present the case of two patients who to avoid a lethal outcome were diagnosed within one hour as having acquired methemoglobinemia before the administration of a patient had ingested food containing large amount of sodium nitrate as determined using a specific taste paper. Further evidence to support the diagnosis was obtained through physical examination and successful treatment with methylene blue assessment. In our patient, the difference between oxygen saturation between, measured by the pulse oximeter and blood gas analysis has led us to consider the possibility of hemoglobinemia, the oxygen saturation measured by pulse oximetry typical present values of around 85% patients with methemoglobinemia when patients have significantly elevated uh, methemoglobin levels. Uh, greater than 20%, the pulse oximetry falsity indicates high level of oxygen saturation. Arterial blood gas analysis may also be initially uh, deceptive because the partial pressure of oxygen is the measure of the dissolved oxygen is normal. Thus, extrapolation of this figure to predict the expected oxygen saturation will provide a faulty elevated result. The best definition diagnostic test is multiple wavelength. <coughs> See oximetry as in vitro uh, spectrophotometric method that is capable of differentiating between oxy, deoximat, and carboxy hemoglobin. Plan. For acquired methemoglobinemia, the typical treatment is with methyl and blue. This is administered within IV over a 5 minutes period and results are typically within. 20 minutes. Methylene blue reduces methemoglobin back to hemoglobin. Methylene blue 100 mg was administered and, uh, intravenously to both patients and their symptoms should be monitored. They should be admitted to the in intensive care unit. Thank you.